We are here in Allentown, and this field over here was huge during the American Revolution because the troops had their encampment here, and the officers would stay here in this abandoned inn. It was called, it, is, it was, and to me it's still called the King George Inn. And they are going to be tearing it down pretty soon and redeveloping this land. But the history will remain with this plant, with this area where the troops were laid out here. They had their encampment here. And I'm going to take you over there. There's a sign. There used to be a Burger King. That's been torn down also. A lot of things going on in this area over here. And I just think that it's important that the history of this area stays with us. Well, in here too. So the last time this was in operation was back in the 1990s, Mark. 90s, yeah, the 90s, yeah. I don't know, yeah, man. I, I'm. I, I there once. There's got to. These windows don't look like they're that no, old. But they're, no, but they're trying to restore it. Someone had bought it, so they're trying to. So they're not going to tear this down. No, they're going to. They're going to uh, fix it up. It, okay. It. Well, that's good to know that they're going to do something with they're it. You don't know what's going to be going in here, though, do you? No, they're going to restore the end. They're restoring the They're restoring it to the end. So it's going to remain an inn. So maybe they'll make it into a historical, Place. you know, thing. Yeah, so you can see the... I used to look at this in the window. It's daylight, so you could... We could get a look over here. There's some light coming in. Yeah, you could see in over here if you uh, yeah. look close over here. Can you see the, uh -huh. the video over there? Yeah. You can see the walls, the brick in the walls over there. That yeah. looks like it's original, it's original brick. to the it area is. over it there. It is. It definitely is. I hope they keep it that way too. Yeah. You know, when they finally do the, the you know, the remodel on it. Yeah. They, I hope they, like at the church that we saw earlier, I hope they keep that brickwork part the, of it. Uh, the, the bar used to be on the other side of the windows here. That was on you know, the right hand side of the bar. Yeah. So, I hope they keep it the way, you know. Yeah. They restore it properly, you know what I mean? I don't think it's uh, open. It is locked. Yeah, I, know. I wouldn't go in anyway because this is private property over yeah, here. Kind of like, the corner here. like that building over there looks like it's on the same yeah. you know, principle. It probably was also built around the same time that this was too. Sure. That's, what I'm That's what I love about this area is the history. You know, where I, in uh, Lake County in Ohio, they are tearing down some 18th century, built or 17th or 19th century buildings that were built in 1800s. Yeah. And I made a video of it, and I'm, I was so mad. And we got, I got all the people worked up about it, but it didn't stop them from tearing yeah. it down. Right over there, right over there, you can see the water plant. It's down for, um, right over there. Right over. Yeah, check out the brickwork over here. Yeah, you can see that... The one there must have been something covering this at one time. That's why it looks less aged than yeah. others, you know. Yeah. Like they're trying, they're trying to restore it, so hopefully they do restore it. Yeah. But I think they, they bought it when kind of the pandemic. Yeah. They're going to work on it, but then it was like, okay, I stopped working on it. This doesn't. I'm wondering. Walking on this, it feels like it's. Um, that there's a gap underneath here, yeah, you know, like if yeah. we could fall through this really easy. Yeah, but check out that brickwork on top of that window there, Mark. Yeah. That's when you know when something is old. You don't see that kind of brickwork anymore. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah, this definitely feels kind of spongy, this floor over here. Yeah. Let's get another look inside over here. Yeah, yeah you can see there's something going on here. They got the ladder in there and... Uh, some uh, tools, uh, some shovels and stuff like that. Yeah, they're gonna restore it. They want to they wanna restore it. They bought this whole corner here. Yeah. So they're not gonna restore this whole inn. I can't wait to see when it's done. And the significance to the, you actually, have you ever been to the inn at I any was, point? I only, I only was one time with friends. Yeah. A drinks the one time and it was so good, like St. Patrick's Day. Right. So it was really crowded. So it does touch, you have a place in your own personal history yeah. with this place. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. 
for sharing this important part of your life. And just to me, imagine how many others are going to be happy to know that this is going to be fixed up and made oh, into yeah. something, you know. Yeah, he wants to do is he wants to put like, like a drug, uh, drug store over there. And yeah. This whole area here, he wants to rebuild. Awesome. Thanks again. Like, comment, and subscribe to The Great Indoors as we explore old history here in Allentown, Pennsylvania with Mark from the Pennsylvania Low Roller. So check him out. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. After filming this video, I dug a little deeper and discovered that the King George Inn has a history of paranormal events, including the crying of a baby that was thrown down a cistern during an attack by the Native Americans during the French and Indian War. Also, a ghost of a man named Charlie can be seen at night. Apparently, he hung himself from the upper staircase of the King George Inn. Maybe Mark didn't want me to freak out. However, I'm actually very interested in the paranormal. If you guys are also, put it in the comments. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.